Hey guys, what's up? It's Karina here. Today we're going to be doing a summer edition of how to look expensive when you're on a budget. I'm a firm believer in the fact that you don't have to go for the most expensive item to put together an outfit that's cohesive. This video is kindly sponsored by Nasty Gal. It has some of the best trendy and quality pieces that don't break your bank. Oh, by the way, I'm sitting down on a swivel chair this time. <laughs> because, you know, I'm old and I need to like preserve my bones. <laughs> Okay, so the first tip I'm gonna give you guys is to not go for crazy colors. Why am I doing this? <laughs> so stick to neutral colors, you know, blacks, whites, grays, beige, taupe. Basically, this color palette here, oh, except for the jeans because, you know, denim goes with everything. So here I'm just showing you a way that you can wear a bodysuit. I love, love the quality. It's super stretchy. I featured it in the video in the past. I think it's sold out then, so yeah. One thing about Nasty Gal though, if you like something, you gotta grab it fast because they sell out like this. I can snap. I should learn from Chunghua. The easiest way to pair your basics is to match it with the same color. Here I'm wearing a pair of black shorts. They have very elastic waistband here. Very comfortable to be in. I'm in a size US 2. By the way, all the sizes and the links and the prices will be linked in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. I'm a huge fan of these type of like dressier shorts for the summer. They're very breathable. They're very lightweight and they're very cooling against your skin. And it's not tight at all. So, you know, there's still some airflow going around down there, which is important, ladies. YKWIN. Because I kept my color palette super basic. I'm going for these accessories. So for accessories, I went with a white shoulder bag with gold chain detail to match my gold necklace here. And also I'm going for a black and white type of sneakers. I got these sneakers last week and I've been wearing it non-stop. Super comfy, goes with a lot of outfits and super trendy too and doesn't break the bank. If you don't want to have the same color on the top and the bottom, make sure you go for a neutral color. No neon greens, no neon oranges. You can definitely go for neon green and neon and neon oranges if you're trying to go for like that trendy insta look but for a timeless classy super expensive look stick to the neutrals here i'm pairing the same bodysuit with a white high-waisted pair of pants these pants are also more on the dressier side but honestly dressier stuff gives your outfit a more elevated look anyway to begin with so you can't really go wrong with that plus the fabric is thinner and more breathable than jeans they're high-waisted so they make your ratios look super good they're very very comfortable to be in you don't feel like you're suffocating under them or anything Okay guys, the second tip to putting together an expensive looking outfit without having, you know, too many zeros in your bank account. Sticking to timeless designs and timeless style. Not gonna lie, timeless styles may seem really boring at times, but I promise you that one timeless item that you have in your closet, you're gonna be reaching for it time after time, spring, summer, fall, winter. You can never, ever go wrong with a white t-shirt in the summer. So here I'm pairing it with this beige colored skirt with slits down the side. I love it to death. Just think everything down from the design to the quality and the fabric, which makes it basic but yet subtly elevates the look of it. In fact, I love it so much. I got it in two colors. I got it in both this kind of like denim bluish color and also this beige color that I'm wearing right now. I love myself a floral skirt but like sometimes a skirt with a bunch of daisies printed on it doesn't exactly scream expensive. Next tip to making your outfit look more expensive than it actually is, is to layer on some jewelry. This doesn't have to be like a particular color. I'm picking gold because stay gold! I'm really into gold jewelry right now, even though, gotta say, Blackpink is totally rocking silver jewelry in how you like that. So I might, you know, convert to. Clothing wise, I'm just going with a tank top that's also from Nancy Gale. I feel like these type of cropped racer back tanks are so, so popular right now but it's still basic, it's still timeless, and look both trendy and elevated at the same time. I went with these jeans because I fell in love with it when I saw it on Nasty Gal, so I had to, had to grab it. I feel like the jeans part might be a little bit of a debate. Some people think that ripped jeans can look elevated, take your style to the next level so you can still be like street trendy. Then some people think ripped jeans are definitely a big no-no when it comes to expensifying your outfit. It's a very, very individual opinion and it really depends on you. What do you guys think? Do you think ripped jeans can make your outfit look more expensive or do you think ripped jeans are just going to completely ruin your classy outfit? 
let me know in the comments down below. The way I'm thinking is that many people have like a preconceived visual or notion of what expensive looking outfit should look like. I honestly think if you're happy wearing it and if you think it looks good on you and if you think it makes your style look more elevated, then you do you girl. And while we're on that topic, I just want to say something. A lot of you guys have been asking me, I like multiple aesthetics, but I don't know which one is my one true style, but I'm like, girl, who said that we need to just pick one aesthetic or just one style to stick to for our entire lives? Like, no. You choose what style you want, what aesthetic you want on a daily basis. Monday, it can be grungy. Tuesday, it can be classy. Thursday, Wednesday, it can be savage. I think the best style is whatever style or aesthetic makes you the happiest. I'm happy. Don't feel the pressure to stick to one aesthetic or one style at all that defines who you are. Like, no. Styles don't define you, you define them, okay? What was it talking about again? <laughs> All right, accessories. Okay, in case you want to dress up your basics a little bit more, you can go with gold chain. And I also got these ring sets from Nasty Gale and also this bracelet. So I think all in all, it ties in really well together with my black bag. Oh, not even kidding. It's like the oh, jillion degrees in my room. Right, here we, go. Got it. we also got oily skin. You like fry an egg, my face. Okay, okay, much better, much better. Mm. Next tip to having a really expensive looking, put together, well-made outfit is to go for two-piece sets because it's already styled for you. You don't need to put in any more additional effort pairing your top and your bottom. You know what color you're gonna go for, what texture, no. That work is already done for you. I got two two-piece sets from Nasty Gal. The first set is... Toe? Is this top again? Oh my god. Beige. This has like a halter neck at the top here. And it also comes with these wide leg Bermuda pants, which, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. I love, love so much. This has got to be like one of my favorite finds from Nasty Gal. It instantly just like makes your outfit look 10 times more expensive than it actually is. Best part is it's only $28 for this set, like top and bottom. Like, you're literally paying less than 15 bucks for the top and less than 15 bucks for the bottom. And they're such great quality. You can wear them together or you can wear them separately. As always, make sure you check the link below to see if it's in stock. If it is, make sure to grab it because it goes out of stock pretty fast. So here's another two piece set that I got from Nasty Gal that is all black. So it features this top. Honestly, not gonna lie, I got it just for the top itself. This top is like a high racer bag top that's kind of cropped. And I love the fact that it also came with a pair of high waisted wide leg pants. If you guys saw my 2020 summer trends video, you know that wide leg pants are huge. Huge trend this summer, but not only are they a trend, they are also very, very classy looking. Especially this pair is so comfortable. I legit feel like I'm in my PJs all day when I'm wearing them. The waistband is super stretchy. The material is like a ribbed material, so very, very comfortable to be in. Super lightweight, super breathable. The only part about it that you may or may not like is the fact that it is so damn long, you guys. I was wearing heels. Okay, let me show you the heels I was wearing. These have kind of like a two and a half to three inch heel and I'm 5'7 by the way. These pants still go all the way down past my heel. It does make your leg look super duper long. If they're a little bit long for you, you can just like fold them up or you can like get a hem. But I do highly, highly suggest this black two-piece set. It just instantly transforms you into like a model off duty. You know that look? Okay, as so the next tip to make your outfit look more put together and sophisticated and expensive looking is to match the hardware colors of your accessories. If you have a silver belt hoop, go with silver necklace and silver earrings, or in my case, I'm not wearing any earrings because I was wearing gold earrings, but then it looks really tacky paired with the silver necklace, so I took it off. And this matching also goes for all your accessories, so bags-wise, make sure bags, <laughs> bag, okay, for my bag. <laughs> I'm also going for a silver accessory type of bag. And we don't stop there, you guys. We also have to pair it with our footwear. So in my case, I'm just going with these, what are these called? Buckle slippers, buckle sandals. I'm not too sure, but I think they are inspired by the Birkenstock style. So I got these at Nasty Gal too. And it's super, duper comfortable, you guys. It's kind of like a flat espadrille. It has that like woven beachy feel. You can just slip into these with whatever outfit you're wearing. I really suggest these slip shoes. Chocolate break. Oh my god, I haven't eaten anything all day. No clashing prints. 
if you're wearing like a striped top on top don't go with a plaid bottom if you're wearing a polka dot top don't go for a floral skirt your best best bet is to stick to solid colors like i'm doing here over here i'm just wearing this really basic taupe color t-shirt can you tell i'm obsessed with taupe lately <laughs> But I promise you it's not as basic, I promise, because let me just show you real quick. This is actually supposed to be just a regular fitting t-shirt. I like to roll up the sleeves like this and then pull out the top of the shoulder here to create kind of like that fake shoulder pad look. I've seen these like fake or like accent shoulder tops go for like over $100. If you're on a budget, chances are you won't be splurging over $100 for a t-shirt. So I suggest just grabbing a really basic tee like I'm doing here or you can just work with any tea that you have at home in your closet and just like DIY a little bit by scrunching up the shoulders here instantly gives you that like expensive luxurious looking feel Woo! I'm getting really hot in here um. still want to talk about these jeans OMG these jeans are also really really high waisted they're super comfortable and they also have a slit up the ankles they're neither a skinny cut nor are they super wide leg jeans for that classy expensive timeless feel you want to go for something right down the middle I just threw on the belt and paired it with my brown purse that matches my belt and for my shoes oh I can finally do this these are about four inches high and you can still see the bottom part of my jeans touching the floor so Yes, I highly suggest you guys to get hemmed, but you might want to wait before you get hemmed because 2020 summer, I'm seeing so many jeans just sweeping the floor. Wait until the summer's done and then hem it. Here is the next tip, you guys. This is a steamer. I've been using it for, I think, the past four or five years and it hasn't broken on me. So yeah, this is only like 20 bucks for my local Walmart. You don't need a very expensive steamer. All you need is an appliance that steams. <laughs> obvious this time haven't been obvious in such a long time it makes a world of a difference in whether your outfit looks kind of sad versus it looks really really high-end and gl i've seen people walking around in their like 200 dollars linen skirts and dresses and not ironed and not steamed and there's like wrinkles all over it and i'm just like girl if you just take that five minutes to steam out your outfit for the day instantly elevate the look of that outfit whatever it is Okay, so the last point I want to point out is if you want to make your outfit look very expensive and luxurious and like really high-end, make sure you invest in a pair of sunnies. I've talked about this in my previous video as well. I think it's the mystery of them blocking like half your face or like the majority of your face and you just instantly like... Someone stop me. Don't get those like small ones. Get these ones that are like big. <laughs> and hides most of your face. That's what she said. The more surface area hidden, the better. Okay, I lied just now. That was my last point. This is actually my last point. To look very pissed. Whenever you see like runway models for high-end brands, they're always looking really pissed when they're walking down the catwalk. Just try looking really pissed and instantly you'll have that like model look like this. Yeah, I want pizza, yeah. Okay, pineapples. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this whole video on how to look expensive when you're on a budget. I hope you like some pieces here and there and like some of the tips I gave you. Let me know if you're going to be recreating any of these outfits and make sure to tag me on Instagram if you do. I would love to see it and put you on my stories. As always, I love you all. Stay gold, everyone. Love you.